Hello, everybody. It is your boy, Twin Plays here, back with another video. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Um, so in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about how to make Roblox AI generated thumbnails. Now, now, I did do a previous tutorial on how to make the icons, but in this tutorial, I really want to go over just going on thumbnails because I didn't really go in depth about that. And I know a lot of people are wondering like, okay, how is it possible to make thumbnails? And I'm going to be showing you my personal way. Um, there are going to be two things you're going to need for this video. Um, one thing is this uh, Bing.com up here. This is just that Microsoft Bing. This is what we used in the last video. Now, if you don't have Adobe Photoshop, um, <clears throat> you're going to have to find a way to get a cracked version maybe or a free version. Um, I think there are other tools online that you can find that are free thumbnail like um, AI generations and there's a way to do things. But um, in this video, we are going to be using Adobe Photoshop. So if you do have a hold of that, that is what we're going to be using. Just wanted to keep that up. If not, I'll leave a link in the description really talking about how you could possibly get it for free, the um, beta version, or you could probably just get a tested version out. Um, but this is really easy to do, actually. So, yeah. Um, if you're new to my channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button, everybody. It means so much to me. Um, and uh, we are really close to 46,000 subscribers. So, thank you again. Um, yeah, uh, all the links in the description. Make sure to join the Discord, by the way, because uh, I can help out everyone there that needs help. But um, we're going to be looking at a few examples. So these are actually a few of my recent games I've been building and working on. Um, but here's an example of one recent thumbnail. Um, it's not amazing. It could be better, of course. But um, I added a lot of stuff into it. This was the icon, actually. And then I just extended it out. And that's really what we're going to be doing today. Um, but yeah, so this is one version. Um, as you can tell, here's another version. This was uh, for a game that I'm trying to make. We'll see if it goes well. But it's all right. This was, this was actually kind of cool. I like this one. Um, so here's another version. Um, and then as well as this version was also, actually, I love this one. Um, this is very, uh, nice. I added some cool things in the background over here. You got a island and trees, you got the trees over here and then you got more bushes and you got some birds. Um, so it's really cool what we could do. So yeah, um, we're going to hop right into Bing. Um, so it really depends on what you want to make. Now, um, it, it is kind of hard because depending on what game you're making, um, it, it just gives off. Uh, like a harder kind of idea on like what we really want to do. Now we could, what we could do, um, I think I'm just going to go off some like crazy idea right here. It just came to mind. Let's do a driving game. So <clears throat> we put, let's go a Roblox GFX icon of a driving game. I want the car to be a, let's go Toyota Supra. I love Toyota Supra. So I'm going to say Toyota Supra and white on road that is facing towards the camera i guess um uh let's set the 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 uh, background to a sunset a or no let's do to a, a nighttime so, so yeah, background to nighttime with city lights, yeah, in the background. And that may, yeah. All right, so we're going to do that. So this is Bing.com, by the way. Um, everything will be in the description. You can grab that. This is where I made all my other, like, you know, little things. So it's kind of nice. You can see all the things I made. Um, but yeah, so. Okay, so this is, uh, this one's kind of nice. I like this one. Um, hmm. I'll download that one. I'm gonna do one more just in case. I want to make it more realistic. Um, let's go. Uh, icon. Make it realistic. Let's try that. <laughs> not not Roblox because it doesn't have any Roblox characters. But you can do a lot of stuff with this. Uh, you know, you just gotta make sure you say like Roblox person, Roblox, um, icon. It, it does its best, but there are a lot of games on here that don't look like a lot of things that don't look like Roblox. But it's okay um <clears throat> yeah see like something like this would be kind of cool uh i think i might go with like Ooh, that one's kind of cool <laughs> yeah so um let's go it really depends what you want to do there's some cool things you could do ah, that one's kind of sick oh gosh here let me let me let me think about this real quick <laughs> All right, so it really depends on what you want to do. Um, these are like three examples, uh, ones that I liked. 
Um, you really have to pay attention to kind of like if you're able to actually generate something in the background. What I normally like to do, and this is kind of cool, I actually kind of love this one, the way it's made, and you could add some text on it too as an icon. What I like to do normally is I like to grab two versions, one like this and like some different one for the thumbnail because you don't want the same thing to be kind of the thumbnail um, most of the time. You want to make it different. So like I would probably make this like the icon and then add some cool like logo or text on it and then I'd make like one of these the thumbnail. So we're going to choose one of these. I think I'll probably go with this one. Um, I mean, it kind of matches that or this one could be fun. Um, it really just depends on the creativity kind of stuff because... Um, I think a, a thumbnail would be best for this one in the sort because you can do a lot with it. So I'm going to quickly pause this video and we're going to go we're, I'm gonna pause this real quick and we're going to go to Photoshop. OK, so when you're in Photoshop, you're going to want to make sure that you're uploading and making a new file, make sure it's 1920 by 1080. Now, I don't know if there is actually another program. I think I'm right. It's Pixlr. Um, I think you're actually able to use uh, their AI generator. This is the one that I love to use. Um, so they might have this, yeah, AI photo editor. So we'll go look at this and see if it works. Um, but besides that point, so you're going to hit create. Once you create create, you're basically going to, um, go and, uh, yeah, we're basically going to do a few things. So I'm going to just make this a little wider so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Um, sorry, my camera's in the way. Um, but so we're going to grab and place embedded and you're gonna grab the uh oh gosh I don't know what the Roblox one is. <laughs> they're so old um you're gonna grab the photo that you need so I'm gonna do I don't remember if I want to do this one yeah, let's do this one so how this works is you basically are gonna select it so you're gonna want to go grab your select tool you're gonna go all the way around um, just like this make sure everything's selected and then you're gonna go to select and then you go inverse and all you're gonna do is you're literally just gonna click this generate button and you're gonna hit generate so what this is gonna do is it's gonna just find what looks good around here and it's just gonna extend it out now some of the times it doesn't really look amazing so I will be honest with that um, so you really have to keep testing it and you can generate it multiple times just keep going until you find a perfect one really just gonna be like see like this is kind of what i mean by like it's not what i wanted <laughs> but um like okay this is attempting um but i'm gonna generate again because that's not what i wanted but <clears throat> another thing you can do is you can kind of just select uh part to part and that's actually what i'm gonna do in a sec here and show you is i'm just gonna be selecting things and i'm just gonna be adding and adding and adding and adding so let's just see what again if it has any cool or variations it really just depends let me just find one that I like. Okay, so as you can see, it kind of looks like dog crap. So what you're gonna do <laughs> is we're gonna go back to the image and you're gonna select like from, I'm gonna go like from here to here. I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna generate fill and you're gonna say, add more buildings with rights. And you're gonna say, let me name more buildings on the inside. So you should generate, I'll pause this real quick. Let me show you what it gets. Okay, so one thing you do gotta do is make sure you're selecting, I didn't really select this generated fill. You have to make sure every time you select a generated fill, you're clicking on that, <coughs> excuse me. You're clicking on that generated fill and you're adding it from there. So this is the variations I got. So um, I got a few right here. Ooh, yeah, that one's perfect. Yeah, so that, well, hmm. you know, I love this one actually. So. That's perfect. And then back here, let's say you want to just be like, okay, um, add a skyscraper. Right here. Add a skyscraper with lights. Yeah. So you just want to keep going into it. So I'm just going to do that. Let me pause it. Let me show you again. Okay. So I had three variations. This one wasn't too bad. Um, I might want to regenerate it, but I'm just going to just for the sake of the video, I'll just do that one. Um, and then back over here. So like I said, we're going to do this one again, and I'm going to fix this because it looks so bad. So um, I kind of like the idea of it being a corner street, but I don't. I want it to be a side street. So I'm going to go back here, select. Oh, gosh, not like that. This. Go bad. I'm going to say, you know, side. Uh, add side buildings with the road on the side. 
as well as a mountain behind the buildings and trees. Okay, I'll say that. Trees slash bushes. Okay, let's try that. Perfect. So it basically fixed it. So there's these there's this variation, there's this variation. I like this one exactly, so that's perfect. That's like literally what I needed. So as you can tell now, it looks much better. Um as you can tell, it looks much better. Now, you can see there's these little white crevices right here. Oh, wait. No, I'm just zooming you. So, this is kind of what I mean. Because when you do Roblox, um, you can you just got to do details. Fine little details. Like, when the, when I had my little Willy Wonka one, I would just go into it and I'd add, like, little things. Like, add a cookie, add a tree, add this. So, you can do that. Um, I can even just, if I wanted to, I could add, like, right here. I could just be like add a bicycle in the wall um yeah uh bicycle in the wall. um you could add little trash bins like i'll probably add a little trash bin back here you just really want to be creative about it and just think of things that you can add to this to make it really nice but yeah this is this is all ai this is um it's really cool what they do and um yeah i hope you guys kind of understand that and see how it works uh, make sure to like the video but yeah so Oh, yeah, and sometimes with these two, you have to watch uh, what happens is, so AI, uh, depending on how you do it or which, like, I clicked the wrong generator fill. So depending on what you click, it's not going to look good with uh, some of the other things. So I don't remember so that one. No, it's, yeah, it's this one. So I would go right here, actually, and say put a bicycle. Um, but. Yeah, so just little things. Go at it. Um, and if it's a Roblox thing, you want to make sure you're balancing like somewhat Roblox versus AI. You don't want to like overdo it because some things will look kind of weird and off. So yeah, hope you guys kind of enjoyed this little tutorial. As you can see, that looks just so much cooler now. You got a little bicycle, um, kind of like that one, but I'm going to go with this one. I'm like, perfect. But yeah, <clears throat> so now you got this really fine detailed image with all these AI generated things, you got the bicycles, you got everything, and it looks really good. Um, I'm gonna quickly hop into Pixlr and just quickly check if that's even possible. Okay, let's just see real quick, 1920 by 1080, I don't really know. Um, arrange, cutout, effect, local AI tools. Uh, okay, so what you might need to do, oh wait, there you go. Let me, let me see where this is. Uh, yeah, back it here, okay, we add it. And AI tools. Generate and expand. Okay. So we go here. Okay, so you gotta sign up and log in. So I'm probably Yeah, I'm probably guessing here. Let me see real quick. Alright, test one more time. Generate expand. Uh Okay, so it looks like it does cost. Yeah, it looks like it does cost. <laughs> um, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe I do have coins. Let me see real quick. <laughs> so you can hit that expand button. There should be other things. Um, I don't know why it's being like this, but yeah, I just clicked that button. So let me see if that works. If it doesn't, I'm, 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 we're gonna have to find another website. Oh yeah, here we go. So you click it. See. Oh yeah, right here. There you go. So now you got AI, and this one's the free version, so you don't even need Adobe. And then uh generate a fill, you would wanna uh images and layers. Yeah, you wanna go here, mark an area like we said. Um, so whether you do that or not, you go right here, you can say, Wow, that actually had a better generative AI than I thought. Um yeah, v1 i could say add more buildings and walls um and it's gonna work on that yeah so actually i was being stupid it looks like these coins right here how many you have so if you need more you could just buy some but you start off with a free a few good amount and then yeah there's like version one version two um and there's certain areas so you can do but yeah so that's about it for this tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed it sorry it's a little long I'm trying to just really go through this make sure everything looks good but as you can tell adobe photoshop of course is on top 
um, go crazy at it. Really like be creative and uh, I'll leave a bunch of links in the description that you can check out. Thank you guys so much. I'll be doing this video. Feel free to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.